Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Burns, senior producer here at KCLV with your city update. 2020 will go down in history as the year our city and in fact the world has had to do things a little differently and that includes our elections across the United States. Mail-in ballots have slowed the process of getting final results out in many communities. The elections division of the Nevada Secretary of State is tackling the monumental task of counting the unusually large number of mail-in votes used by many voters who chose not to vote in person due to the pandemic. But many ballots postmarked November 3rd will continue to be received and counted for several days. So there is a place you can turn for the most up-to-date results. That is silverstateelection.nv.gov. Another update will be posted 9 a.m. Thursday, November 5th. Show the flu who's boss this flu season. The Southern Nevada Health District has scheduled additional no-cost flu clinics across the community to make it more convenient for local residents to get their flu shots. The vaccine is available for adults and children six months of age and older on a first-come, first-served basis. Here is the schedule of the upcoming free flu clinics. Friday, November 6th is an appointment based clinic at Martin Luther King Jr. Senior Center. You can make your appointment online at bit.ly slash NOV 6 flu. If you don't have an appointment, you will be taken care of as long as supplies last. Then on November 10th, you can get your shot at Cheyenne High School from 1 to 5. And on Wednesday, December 2nd, shots will be available at Centennial High School from 1 to 5. No appointments are necessary at those two locations. Flu vaccines are recommended every year, but this year it's even more important. A flu shot is part of the overall strategy to help ensure medical resources are conserved and the healthcare system is not overtaxed as the response to the COVID-19 pandemic continues. For more information on preventing the flu and other important health-related news, go to the Centers for Disease Control website, which is cdc.gov flu. Nominations are now open for the 2021 Heart of Education Awards. Do you know a CCSD teacher who stands above the rest? A teacher who goes above and beyond to put students first? Well, nominations are now open for the 2021 awards. A nomination can come from a student, a parent, a colleague, basically anyone who is not related to that teacher but is familiar with his or her work. To learn more, go to theheartofeducation.org. Well, that's it for the City Update. Be safe out there, and we will see you for the next City Update.